Hey everyone, in this video you will learn how you can add a RSS feed post into your Microsoft Excel spreadsheet automatically. So guys here you can see we are using RSS by Pabli, a feature of Pabli Connect in the trigger section and Microsoft Excel as the action application in such a way that whenever a new RSS feed post is posted on any website, the same post data like the link of the post and the title of the post will be created as a record in Microsoft Excel sheet automatically. And guys, to make this happen, we are using Pabli Connect, which is an automation tool. And we can set up this automation without any coding very easily. Let me show you how. So this is the landing page of Pabli Connect. And from here, you can set up your free Pabli Connect account and you will get free automation tasks every month to set up and test your automations okay so you can just sign up right now and after that you have to sign in and reach the Pabli Connect product and you will reach the dashboard of Pabli Connect and guys here you have to click on this create workflow button to create this automation and here you can give a suitable name to this workflow so I am giving the name here as safe RSS feeds into M S or Microsoft Excel okay so after giving the name just click on create button and you can see your workflow page is getting ready here and here on this page you will find the trigger and the action module so guys trigger here is that section in which we are going to connect the trigger application and in the trigger application the trigger event is going to occur so the trigger event is that event which is going to start this workflow and the action would be the response towards the trigger or the consequence which is going to happen in the action application okay so here in this trigger we are going to use rss by pabli feature here it is and here it will uh, show you this trigger event options from here you can see we have this new item in feed options select this okay and here you can see it is written every 20 minutes so this trigger is going to run automatically in every 20 minutes and it will check a website whose link that we are going to paste it here and uh, in that website it is going to check for new feeds and if there is a new feed the date of that feed will be captured by this workflow okay let me show you first of all we have to click on connect and here you can see it is asking for the feeds url so here you can paste the uh, URL of any RSS website. So this is the website I have opened uh, and NDTV is the news website we have and this is the RSS feed section of this uh, website and here what I'm going to do let us uh, just select sports section. I'm going to copy the link of the sports RSS section. I'm copying the link and paste the link here in this field feed URL field like this. Okay. And after that, when you click on save and send test request button, the most recent feed that uh, has been added into this website's RSS section will be fetched here. So let me click on save and send test request. Okay, and this is the response we have received. And this is the link of the post. This is the content of the post you can see. And uh, here, here you can see the title is Bangalore FC and their talismanic captain Sunil Chetri won their Maiden Durant Cup football. Okay, so this is the title of the, uh, you know, feed. Okay, let me show you the feed actually. I'm opening the sports section here. Okay, so this is the first feed we got, the most recent feed. Fans on Chetri being nudged by WB Governor and this is the, this is the same dot captured here you can see. So guys, let me first show you the Excel sheet in which I want to save the RSS feed. So this is my... Excel sheet you can see here I want to save these four things the headline of the feed the link of the feed the website address the website source and the publishing date okay so for that we need to have this date first to uh, be fetched out from this data that we have received here so you can see we got this publishing date like this okay so here I want to just add the publishing date not this time zone and the time okay for that what we can do we can use this action step and from here I am going to use text formatter option text formatter feature of family connect okay and here in the action event I am going to search for split text option so here I am going to split this date from this time okay 
so to split it just click on connect and here it is asking which text you want to split so just click here and it will show you the previous step in the drop down or the trigger step when you click on it it will show you all the data here like this so you can just map this publishing date like this okay and here it is asking for the separator so i want to separate this date and time from the space in between okay so the space is separator so if you want to put space as the separator you have to pay, put it like this you can read here in the instructions just copy the format and paste the space as this okay and here it is asking for the segment index so when you select first segment index the first part will be sp splitted out if you select second the second part and we have all and last options also click on save and send test request and you will see the splitted result here in this result section so in this result section you can see it is just showing monday and a comma because it is showing uh, uh, this monday only because uh, you can see after monday there is a space in between so it's splitted the first segment only okay so let us do one thing just select all here and then click on save and send test request and here you can see now we got the monday which is the day the date and the month and the year and the time all things are splitted out from the spaces so now we can use these labels to map the data forward the data further okay now what i want i want to save save the details in my excel sheet for that just click here on this plus icon and from the section step search for microsoft excel and after selecting the app select the action event as add row to worksheet okay select this then click on connect and from this window select add new connection option and now click on connect with microsoft excel okay so it will ask for the access to be given to your outlook account to give uh, to connect with your excel sheet it is asking access for the outlook account because this is a live sheet that i have created in my onedrive okay so you have to give the access just uh, scroll down and click on yes here and you can see we are getting connected okay so authorization is successful so guys this sheet is uh, the workbook is selected and here it is asking for the sheets name so we have only one sheet here named as sheet one so it got auto selected here and here it is asking for the headline length website and the publishing date which are the headers of the columns that we have here you can see so now we are going to map the data from the from the trigger step or from the previous steps okay so we are going to map the data here in this fields so for the headline just click here and from this trigger step map the headline which is this okay the title is the headline and for the link use the trigger step only and you will find the link uh, of the feed which is here for the website address use the trigger step only and you will see the website address let me check here so you can see it is not showing the website's name but we have the website address in the link so let's split out the website address from the given link uh, so with the help of text formatter only so uh, we are going to use for text formatter one more time for that just click here on this plus icon in between the steps and another action step will open up from here search for text formatter again okay and in the action event select split text option then click on connect okay and here i am going to map the link from the uh, trigger okay now i want to split uh, this website address from the given uh, from this given url okay for that you can see we have this slash as the separator let's use slash as the separator okay and in the segment index let me put so this is the last part this is the second last part and this is the second part okay or this is second to last so let me select second to last option let's see if we got uh, the desired results okay we are getting football here okay so let me select second option here so guys i have uh, selected say all as the segment index and we got all the things splitted out from the slashes okay so we got the results like this now we can use these results to map the data and to map the details here you just have to click here okay now you can see it is not showing the previous steps right now because we have added 
some steps before this step now you have to refresh your connection with microsoft excel just click on connected one more time and from here keep this existing connection option selected and click on save and your connection will be refreshed okay so the connection is refreshed and now you can see it is showing the uh, headers again let us map the data again for the headline use the trigger map the title as the headline for the link use the trigger step map the link for the website now we are going to use the second text formatter step here let us map the http leading address and keep on mapping the data like this okay so we have mapped both of the result labels in which we got the data split it and for the publishing date use the third text formatter step map the day then the date then the month okay and you can map the year as well if you want okay so we are done mapping the details and you have to map the details only once you have to set up the automation only once guys after that the labels are going to be updated automatically in every 20 minutes as the workflow is going to run okay now let us check our connection with this spreadsheet with microsoft excel i'm going to click on save and send test request and this test data will be added here in a new row in this sheet let me show you i am clicking on save and send test request and this is the response we have received here let us check in our excel sheet if we got the data and here you can see guys we got the data added here like this in the next row in the fifth row you can see uh, the title is the same this is the link this is the website address and this is the publishing date so this is how it is going to work guys so we are done setting up this automation and we have to set up this automation only once as i already told you and in every 20 minutes the rss feeds from any particular website are going to be stored in your excel sheet automatically so guys if you want to use this workflow you can use it because i'm going to paste the link of the same workflow in the description and you can clone it in your own free public connect account and start using this automation instantly guys thank you so much for watching our video and please please let us know how our automation ideas are helping you in the comment section and if you have any queries related to this application please ask your queries from this forum link and do check the pricing of this application from this link and guys we are open to ideas if you want us that we should make videos on other aspects of your business please do let us know in the comment section and if you like our work please subscribe to our channel